here's your host, Lisa Hafner. Good morning and welcome to your life A to Z. I'm glad you can be with us this morning. Come on, stay out of the heat, watch the show and relax, right? Gail Bath is in the kitchen with Chef Anthony Ferrer from Le Chalet. Good morning, Gail. Now, when it comes to French cooking, that's something I definitely leave to the pros. Yeah, I'm willing to try it because I love French cooking when I was in France. I, mm -hmm. I ate quite a bit. I ate more than three meals a day. That's which is good. And what are you making for us today? This sounds fascinating. Uh, today we're going to make a tartar sauce, mm -hmm. okay? So we're going to make a homemade mayonnaise from the scratch. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add some capers, cornichon, which is jerkins, mm -hmm. onions, and a little bit of chopped parsley into it. And I have to show people, in <laughs> French, you call it beurre. We say butter, but you know, good things are going to happen when you have this much butter. <laughs> going into the recipe today, I'm going to have to control myself, but I'll sample it because I know you guys want to know how it tastes, and I'll tell you a little bit later on. All right. <laughs> Can you say that again, Gail? Beurre. Beurre. He'll say it better because he's got the accent. Butter, I, butter in English and beurre in, friend, in French. En français. En français. I beurre. wanted to take French. My mother said I had to take Spanish when I was a sophomore in high school. I'm so mad. That's it's so see, beautiful, the language. I love it. That's what you get for listening to your parents. <laughs> 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 well, thank you, Gail. I'll hire you say it all day long because it's beautiful. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's lighten up. Talk about French cooking, my favorite. Hi, Gail. Oh. That's right, because uh, I was a kid parents didn't want to see because I would talk, 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 talk. <laughs> all right, I am here with Chef Anthony Ferre from Le Chalet and a beef tenderloin delight. It's your signature dish the there. Sign. Yeah, de la potence. We call it la potence. This mm -hmm. is a very unique dish that comes from Switzerland, actually. This is pure beef tenderloin seared and skewered on a very, very hot mace, 500 Ooh. degrees. It's fantastic. And at Le Chalet, you guys do French and like Swiss Alp cooking. Yes, exactly. We're not, you know, we're not, you know, the, the, the kind of French restaurant, you know, like high-end restaurant. We're, we're family friendly and all, all we cook is from the French Alps and the Swiss Alps. All right, well, let's get cooking now, All right, man. let's go. Okay. <laughs> let's go. We're, we're going to start with the, with the mayonnaise base, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make a mayonnaise from the scratch. So first we start with the, uh, the raw egg yolks mm -hmm. only. And you're, using, you're gonna start with three? Trois, with en français? Trois, three, three egg yolks, all right. Like this, okay? So we're gonna get rid of this right now. We don't need the white, okay? We'll use that for an omelet later. Oh yeah, <laughs> okay. So three egg yolks, mm -hmm. all right, there you go. Extra strong Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. Dijon mustard. About how much? It's four ounces. Four ounces. Mm-hmm. Mm. Four ounces I of love Dijon, Dijon mustard. mustard. It has such character to it. But you, we just got to make sure that it's very, very extra strong. Okay? If you want to have, you know, a good, good taste of your mayonnaise, make sure it's a very extra strong. Should it be room temperature? Yes, it's mm -hmm. fine. Room temperature or, you know, even, you know, fridge, fridge temperature, it's fine. Okay. Okay? Salt, pepper. Mmm, just a pinch. Okay. Or his three pinches. <laughs> yeah, it's small pinches. Okay? Well, in France, it's a pinch three pinches. <laughs> three egg yolks, three, <laughs> three pinches, okay? So now, mixing bowl. Mm -hmm. He's got the super duper uh, yeah. 600 watt yeah. mixer that my sister covets. <laughs> the real deal. <laughs> All right, there's gonna be. All right. So that's kind of like a medium. He's got it on number four, ladies. Oh, no, if you just, just to mix all the ingredients together, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, and then we're gonna have three cups of canola oil. Ooh, three cups. Mm -hmm. And so do we, you need to pour the oil very gently, mm. okay, in order for not separating the, the sauce. And this is the sauce for the beef tenderloin. That yes, we're do that's, the tartar, mm -hmm. that's the tartar sauce. That's the tartar. That's okay. not like tartar sauce like my mom used to make with mayonnaise and dill relish. No, no, okay. <laughs> so after that, when the mayonnaise is going to be finished, mm -hmm. we're going to add some chopped onions over there, mm -hmm. chopped cornichon, mm -hmm. which is jerkins, and chopped capers, and a little bit of parsley as well, okay? Now, while you're pulling that in there, tell me about Le Chalet's lunch special. Oh, when, my when lunch we, special. When we heard about this before the show, we couldn't right, believe okay, it. Okay, okay. We have, we have a $7.50 lunch special every day, every $7. single $7.50, folks. Okay, which is basically crepes normally that comes with a side salad. But I'm trying to, you know, to create something new every single day. You're looking at me, but I'm looking at the moms and they're salivating <laughs> when they hear that. You know what? That's, that, that's going to sound weird, but sometimes, you know, I dream about cooking and I dream about recipes. You know, during the night, and when I'm when I wake up in the morning, I say, "Oh, I gotta try this." <laughs> I 
I dream about eating all the time. <laughs> and That's why I had to lose weight. And usually, usually... Because <laughs> I know, tried to make those dreams come true. <laughs> and usually it's very good. Mm -hmm. Like 90, 9,500% mm -hmm. of the time, it's very good. Now, when you were a young chef, I have to ask, because a lot of guys say, you know, they got it from their moms, but did your dad cook it all? No, my mom. Your my mom? My mom did. But I always, you know, got the, the passion for cooking mm -hmm. since the beginning. And, uh, you have to have patience, because uh, I'm looking at the moms here. I want to know if they would stand here that long. Would they have time? <laughs> <laughs> You've been there a few minutes pouring that in there, moms. Would you stand? Do you have time to stand there that long to we do that? We have our kids do it. Okay. I'll just pay the $7.50. Yeah. The thing to make, to make a real good mayonnaise, you just got to make sure that you pour the oil very, very slowly. Mm -hmm. Okay? More, more, the, you, more you have oil, you know, okay. to, the, to the mix, the stronger, you know, the, the thicker it's okay, going to be. Okay, you know what? We're going to let you finish that up. Right. When we come back, we're going to do something fantastic to the uh, beef, right? All right. Yep. Okay, we're all right, all right. The recipe will be on our website. You can get them at azfamily.com forward slash your life. Sorry wow, about the this, nose. No, <laughs> hey, I, don't apologize. You're feeding us. Up next, we'll go over the good, the bad, and the gossip. So what you are looking at there is beef being seared by Chef Anthony Ferre from La Chalet. He just put in a dollop of of butter, but we're going to get to that in just a second as it sizzles and sears in the background. We are back with Chef Anthony Ferrer from Le Chalet. I'm so impressed. This is the coolest thing ever. Beef tenderloins, you sear them and you're putting it on this mace? Mace, yeah. We call it like a medieval mace. <laughs> you know, the mace is actually 500 degrees hot, so wow. it's very, very hot. So the meat is just seared basically, and then it's cured on the mace. That means that it keeps on cooking, you know, during, during the, the whole process of then, then we're going to make the flambe, actually. Wow, that is the coolest so thing we're gonna I've make ever a, seen. We're going to make a flambe with some Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Okay. Okay. And or Kentucky, as we like to say here in the U.S. Yeah. Hey, that is so cool. And the meat is still cooking on the, the little hanging. This cooked. does look very medieval, but this oh, yeah. is something I'm not going to do at home. I'm definitely going to come to your restaurant to get You it. have to. You need to. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to stand back because I know there's alcohol involved. No, we, 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 we cooked a, a wild rice. We, we call it a risauvage in French, a wild rice in a, in a cast iron skillet. So that means that when I'm going to make the flambe, you know, all the alcohol <gasps> is going to, you know, drip into the rice. Oh, go for it. I'm, uh, I'm moving back. Uh, I'm nervous. It means the flame. This is so cool. All There's, right. you can see the flame starting. And you can only get this at La Chalet. I don't think I'm going to try this at La home. La Chalet. But anyway, that's okay. Yeah, I'm going to come, I'm gonna come <laughs> see you for this. All right, do your thing there. Oh, you're right. heating it. I see it getting darker. You see? So now we're going to play a little bit with the mace, Look you know, to flavor, to flavor the, the, the meat. Actually, we use, we use the bourbon whiskey, you know, because it, it's got a little bit more sweetness. We can use cognac as well. But that the, is neat. But the whiskey is fantastic. So then we're going to pour everything on the top of the mace. And making sure the sprinklers don't go off see? here in the studio. Look, look oh, my. Look at this. Wow. So we just basically play with it. So make sure that okay. the meat, you know, is full flavored with the bourbon whiskey. I love, and you got all the little dipping sauces yes. there on the plate, so and that's what you do with this dish. You have dip different dipping sauces for so the meat. So we serve, we serve the lapotons with five different kind of sauces. We have the tartare with, that we just made, bourguignon, curry, and grain mustard. And in the center, this is the Burmet d'Hotel, which is salted butter mixed with garlic and parsley. I could just hear you talk all day long, oh, and that really? whiskey's gotten nice and Look brown. Look at this. It is gorgeous. La Potence is what this dish is called. La right? Potence. This I is the La Potence. Is this pretty traditional French? Then? No, it's actually it's actually from Switzerland. From it's actually Switzerland. from Switzerland. Yeah, it's a very very unique dish that comes from Switzerland. Oh, it is gorgeous. Yeah. And oh. you know this is this is our, our signature dish, and we call it the Hanging Man at Le Chalet. The Hanging Man. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like a medieval thing. They had all these spikes on there, which you didn't see because we had to put the meat on there. But and I there suggest you go. you go to the restaurant. That Look is at this. gorgeous. All the juice from the meat is dripping into the rice. It's just amazing. This is pure beef tenderloin. We use Angus beef. The meat is fantastic. Oh my gosh, I'm going to Le Chalet. Over there by 58th <laughs> Avenue and Bell. They're open for lunch and thank you for coming on. That was an amazing dish. Thank I'm so impressed with the technique. Thank I'm you definitely very much. gonna come see you. I don't think I'm gonna try this at home. But if you want to give it a try, at least make the sauces. Yes. You can go to our recipe uh, search engine there at our website, azfamily.com forward slash your life and print it there and get information on Le Chalet and Chef Anthony Ferre. Am I saying it correctly? Yeah, my French is fine. Ferre. You know. Whatever, uh, whatever, whatever, it's perfect. I can't think of a French word. Adios, so the, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the we'll be right back, Justin. All right, okay. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Chef Anthony Ferre from Le Chalet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to say it, Gail. I'm not I, I, I like the way you say it. Chef, Anthony, Chef Anthony Ferre. Chef Anthony, tu es fantastique. Merci it, beaucoup. Okay. Thanks. Au revoir. I can't even say it. 
Look at that. That is gorgeous. Um, I'm glad. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm glad. I, maybe, maybe. It's your signature dish. This is a signature dish of the Le Chalet. Oh. And it's over at 58th Avenue and Bell. If you don't want to have this medieval thing in your kitchen, go there and eat it up. Thank you. <laughs> and 7.50 for welcome. lunch.